What's up guys, I'm Jordan and we're going to go over the Warhead brushless motor and what makes this so good versus everybody else. We have the Warhead brushless motor, and there's a lot of improvements that they did on this versus other kind of, kinds of brushless motors. For starters, we have a much stronger pinion. Um, there's almost nowhere every time we're using it. Um, a lot stronger than previous. We have CNC cutouts for heat dissipation, uh, epoxied motor tabs, so they're reinforced and they don't break as easily, along with hardware and software improvements to protect the electrical circuits inside. All right, when you first get your Warhead Industries motor, you're going to unpackage it. And within that package, you'll find some instructions, but we'll go over, go over this really quickly. Yeah, I'll just tell you everything. So in here, you're gonna find your, your motor, opinion, the, um, shaft and the spring. So removing this, you will have to assemble this when you do get it. I'll show you how to put it together right now. Grabbing all the parts. Okay. Pretty straightforward, you're gonna just assemble this together. Make sure that the bearing is still inside. Your pinion's gonna go in and it can only go in one side because it's a D-type, but make sure it's facing this way. Make sure that your, uh, your bearing can also freely spin as well. You don't want to make it too tight. And there will be a, you will need a 1.3 millimeter hex key and you're going to need to tighten that. Like so. Make sure you don't strip it. It is a small hex key and it is very easy to strip. And there you have it. You have your warhead motor assembled. Let's put it in again. All right, this is what the gun sounds with an ASG30K motor. Still fast and snappy. Let's see what the brushless motor can do. All right, we just installed it right now. Listen to how it sounds. That's nice. Super snappy. Now that you've heard how it sounds, let's go over with the options. First, you have the standard motor, which starts at 30,000 RPM. You have the high-speed motor, which is a 36,000 RPM motor. And then you have the ultra-high-speed, which is a 52,000 RPM motor. Now, what's best for you? In, in most cases, you're going to want to stick with the 30,000 or the 36,000 RPM motor. Those will easily upgrade your speeds by about 10 to 20 percent depending on where you're coming from and You can get them available on our website at umbrellaarmory.com and they start around for hundred and fifty dollars For the longest time I have been very excited about brushless motors in general um, The first one we started off with was with the Novatech expert motors but you had to wire an extra signal wire to your gun. You couldn't use it with MOSFETs. Um, it was a lot more pickier and bulkier. On top of that, it wasn't as good, but immediately I knew brushless motors was, was coming to Airsoft. And it was really exciting to first hear about it, you know, three, four years ago. Um, and a couple years ago, there was an improvement. You had the option number, option number one motors. I have a graveyard of them. We, we did extensive R&D testing on these motors and I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but they look kind of similar as if they're made from the same manufacturer or so. And though that's not entirely true, this motor did spark what this ended up becoming. Um, the problem with option number one motors is that, yeah, it's a Japanese company and they contracted, you know, a factory in Asia 
to, to create it for them, but they were still, the motors were still lacking some things. Um, we blew up, I think around six of them in various builds. Um, they would have issues with active braking. They would have issues with rate of fire control. Um, there were semiconductors on top of the, the, the boards themselves that would physically blow up. Um, as well as the MOSFETs that they're using to drive the, the commutators inside were, uh, were failing. With op with I'm sorry, not option, but with warhead motors, they significantly improved the, the integrated circuits inside, and as well as improved the software so that it can detect voltage spikes a lot quicker and protect itself from any electrical spikes and issues coming from the gun side. These are really smart motors, and I'm excited to see what will happen in the future with this company. Um, I know that they're making a, they're trying to reduce the cost of it so that everyone can have one. Um, and I really do think that this is the next evolution in Airsoft, that you have, you know, w these much more efficient motors, um, much more powerful, less amp draw. Um, and that was honestly probably the biggest weakness in, a gear, in, in an AEG gearbox was that, you know, we were able to push the, the gearbox to the limits where you're cracking them and then you were able to now buy gearboxes that were practically indestructible. Um, you used to have gears that would break. Now you can find gears that are also indestructible. Um, motors were always one of the weakest point. Like on, on my own gun, I use a... I use a 14.8 just to try to push a DC motor to its limits and frying them was a normal, a normal thing. Like these motors, like my go-to motor back in the day was an ASG30K motor and you know, they're 16 TPA, they are equivalent to a 30K motor, what, what not, and they would just get really hot. I mean, I had a switch to my sidearm a lot where I had to wait for my gun to cool down while it's shooting on a 14.8. Um, but that was expected. It's cool to see that these motors coming out, you know, they dissipate the heat so well. Um, they spin up a lot quicker. There's less of a lag time when you're firing on semi because there's simply less mass on the center armature than it is on DC motors. You don't have to replace brushes um the worst thing honestly is that you know maybe you wear out your pinion from you know bad shimming or your motor height was set incorrectly um warhead also has a one-year warranty so if you do have problems they have been more than responsive on being able to fix things and they actually listen to a lot of our um, updates so we were having issues earlier that they're uh, motor tabs were breaking, like, you know, we installing them or, you know, they wiggle back and forth inside of a gun and they would crack. Um, they've since fixed that several months ago and all the motors now are coming with epoxy reinforcement. Um, and they're just a really responsive company. So definitely looking forward to what they're, they're going to be rolling out the next, uh, next years. And that ends my rant. Super snappy. Super snappy.